All right, so Claude Lassette, you are ground zero for veteran advocacy in Canada. So um, can you give us some background? First off, who, who's, who is Claude? Like, uh, I know that you're one commando and stuff, but no one else does, so. Who is Claude? Wow. Yeah. Who was Claude? <laughs> yeah, well, Claude, yeah, exactly. Who was Claude? Uh, well, I'm uh, born and raised uh, in Quebec. I'm a Frenchman from Quebec. I joined the military when I was in Ontario. Joined with a one RCR, or actually three RCR. And uh, I was in Gagetown till Oka, then Oka, I uh, rebadged to uh, the Royal 22nd Regiment. And um, went straight to the Canadian Airborne Regiment. So what happened? I, I, I mean, I, it, like, it's a given, but I mean, we went to Somalia. Uh, you took Mefloquine. Um, what you experienced initially uh, on Mefloquine, uh, and what started you on the journey? Yeah, um, Mefloquine. Jesus Christ. Um, yeah, uh, Mefloquine. Um, I didn't know anything about it. All I knew was the new anti-malarial drug. Um, everybody, well, all the NCOs were uh, talking about it and saying how it's better because it's only once a week and not every day and so on. Um, I started taking it. Uh, I don't even remember taking it um, before the tour. You know, you, you're supposed to take it like a, a month in advance or something like that so it can get into your system. Um, I don't even remember them telling me, here, take this anti-malarial drug. But I remember in, uh, in Somalia doing parades for the malaria pill. And uh, we didn't like it. We didn't like that parade because <laughs> it made us uh, feel like crap. Uh, I, had, uh, I, don't, I didn't know it was the pill that was doing this to me, but I was having severe nightmares. And uh, the real side effect that made me not want to take it is my digestive system. I felt like crap. Uh, I couldn't digest anything. Plus we're on hard rations. Um, yeah, it just made you feel like crap for a few days while, while, while we took it. Um, yeah, and when we started complaining, um, we were ordered to take it. You know, like, I don't wanna take this pill. It's making me feel like shit. And, the NCOs, what they start to do is they start to line us up like a sick parade and uh, the medic giving us this pill while the NCO is like uh, watching us swallow it. So what, post um I mean, 2016, you, you began the, the advocacy really with your, your actions. What took place post Somalia to 2016 that brought you to the hill in 2016 uh and and tell us about why you started you know the, the whole ball rolling well from the from day one when i came back from somalia i had digestive issues uh, and also I, I was very sensitive to light i was getting headaches from the light um, I didn't really notice the tinnitus and uh, or tinnitus or, or whatever potato potato, um, but I didn't really notice the t tinnitus till later on, um, and also my uh, I was a paratrooper and I was getting sick in the planes all the time and it was because of the motion sickness. I don't understand why, but that's what it was. But you know. Um, Leading to, uh, in 2007, I was diagnosed with PTSD. Um, I tried my hardest to, to heal and with no avail. Um, I was at St. On Hospital for three stays. There are three month stays with two phases. Uh, first phase is uh, stabilization. And the next phase in, is uh, to introduce you back into uh, like the city world, out, out of the hospital. Uh, I did that three times and I couldn't understand what the hell is going on because I'm not getting any better. I'm getting worse. And in 2016, I f saw an article on Facebook saying that uh, we were used as guinea pigs. 
And uh, for me, I was unaware about this drug trial and mefloquine. I, I remembered mefloquine because mefloquine was that drug that made us feel like crap. And as soon as I saw that article, I started digging through the internet. And uh, I saw um, John Cummings' uh, report uh, from the Auditor General. You asked the Auditor General after they closed Somalia, uh, the Somalia Affair Inquiry. Um, he wrote to the Auditor General to look into this. And uh, he did a statement in April of uh, 1999. And I saw this too. It was, it was illegal, and it was administered a, a, a uh, illegally. It was actually it, it, the way that the D and D got this drug was illegal, and the drug trials on us was uh, illegal because we. I, I I started digging through uh, what the World Health Organization said about the the drug and the process that you have to go through to license this drug. And uh, look, Canada failed on all, all of them. So um, then I started listening to Dr. Nevin. Dr. Nevin is one of the guys that made me realize that my issues are greater than PTSD. Um, that's where I noticed my vestibular uh, issues, uh, my tinnitus and uh, I have a slight, it's not a, a ring that makes you death tone, like, you know, it makes you crazy. But it's like I uh, hear uh, a CRT screen. You know what a CRT, the old screens that yeah. with the tubes in the back? Yeah. When you turn them off, you say, oh, God, does that ever feel good? Well, yeah. I always have that little in my ear, you know? Yeah, I get that. Mine comes and goes. It just, it's there, it's really loud, it grows, and then gone. Yeah. For me, it's just there, it's always faint. It's, uh, it's not heavy. I don't have any problems with my extremities, but I have uh, issues with uh, uh, sensitivity, sensitivity to light. Um, my digestive uh, system is completely shot. I have, uh, I have been having issues with that for the longest time. And I always thought it was because of all the meds that I took at St. Anne Hospital. Uh, when I got out of St. Anne Hospital, they were giving me up to 28 pills a day. Yeah. So I, I blew up like a balloon. I, yeah. it, I look at it now and I think they're trying to kill me or something because uh, it was pathetic. And it would just flared up my issues, you know. Yeah. And uh, since I've been listening to Dr. Nevin and David Bona, uh, David Bona has got a lot of good tips. I think he, he's better at catching what Dr. Nevin says. Mm -hmm. And uh, he puts it into the layman terms, you know. But Dr. Nevin's pretty good at talking like that, too, because uh, I've met the man. And uh, But uh, I still have concentration issues. I, I still have problems catching, uh, catching on, on to stuff. Uh, but I've noticed that uh, the pills is not the way to go. It just flared. It, it, all the pieces of my issues and not healing, uh, the reasons why I put the rope around my neck three times um, is all due to this pill. Uh, 